We're good. There's one. There's two. Oh my God. Oh my God. I think that's everything. I don't think we missed anything today. We're completely set up, no problems. Let me swap out my blade. What's up, dudes? Surprise. Good morning. Wake up, we got work. What's up, boy? What's up, boy? <laughs> the lighting, I think, might be better today. We did a couple things. It's been a, it's been a minute again. We didn't have much as far as work goes this week. Hopefully, that'll pick up. I just turned the heaters on, so that's the thing. We have heat now, and it works, as far as I can tell. Oh wait, it does look good? Thanks. The, uh, most of the lighting, so what I ended up doing is, I'll show you guys, is we put LED, so I had a couple idea with some glass boards, and then I took those lights that I had behind the glass boards that just made everything look wonky, and I put them all along here. So hopefully it's gonna like. I see the, sh the cruise came in. Yep, yep, we scheduled this uh, last Saturday on stream, which is pretty cool. I'm finally here at the beginning of the stream. Only got four hours of sleep, but I'm here. <laughs> It'll be worth it. Dude, I, so my alarm went off at 7.30 this morning, and then I did one of those things where I laid in bed for two seconds, and then I woke up and it was 45 minutes later, and I'm like, ah! <laughs> that happens to me way too much. So then I'm just rushing, and then it's like, I need coffee. So then it's playing catch up on everything else. But I think everything's just working right now, which is awesome. Oh yeah, I'm waiting on the, we gotta set up the GoPro. That's it, that's the one thing. So, hold up, I need a longer cable wants me to update something. No, I don't want to update. Come on. Happy. Good morning, my guy just started following you. Hopefully to learn a lot from you. No, this is this is at this point this is where it goes all downhill. You found me. Now we're we're just like boom, down. <laughs> We we're gonna get started pretty quick. We're gonna get started pretty quickly here. Can I bring this over here? Nope, that's gonna that's gonna pull everything off. No, I don't wanna update an Apple Watch. The Apple Watch isn't even here. It's like, would you would you wanna update your Apple Watch? I haven't used it in forever. And it's not even here. Can I? <gasps> I can do a thing. Because I brought a plug. I can, I know better than this. I can do this in front of stream. So we're setting up the GoPro right now. The one thing, the one thing, haha, now we have power, convenient power. All right, control your GoPro. Now I don't have to dance back and forth. Um, yeah, the one thing that was, uh, Missing was this. What's that? I'm getting used to all the sounds because of the heater. It does work, so that's good. All right, we're getting, we're getting this, and then we can probably, it's starting to get warm. Oh, 
go go live. So test. We will do a test real quick. Um, this perfect. All right, we are up and running. So we're gonna get started. We're just gonna go ahead and get started today. So this is a Chevy Cruze hatchback that we're gonna be doing in 20% on the front doors and 5% five, 5 on the rear. Got me a hood wrap right now, very nice. We gotta let everybody wake up, but we're gonna, we're gonna get started in the meantime. I also totally forgot about any type of notification for this one other than going live. So that's a thing, I had a week notice. Does this look good? Does this make me look good? Oh yeah. <laughs> no audio. Webcam, GoPro. Why, why is my audio not working? Oh, it's not on on the other side. Two seconds. You know how I said we had everything? We didn't have everything of everything. So now, now we good. Perfect. Okay, so we can leave that right there. Um, so this is it. And then this is also what we did. Oh yeah, we did those. So that's a thing. <laughs> so my original idea was backlighting these glass panes. Um, it throws off the entire lighting. So I took the lighting that I got for those and I strung it up all the way around there. So now, it should, in theory, make everything just more pleasant to look at. A little bit more easy peasy to see. That's the idea anyways. We're a little high on the GoPro too. Let's move this. I think we gotta move this down. Is that better? Is that better? Am I too tall? That should be good. Awesome. Aye, 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 that's my car. Hell yeah. <laughs> I, uh, uh, the, the customer, he's, uh, he's, he's now aware of the stream. So this is, this should be a fun one today. We are going to go through the whole process. You know, I don't, I don't think these pop up. No, it's one of those, I don't know why they do this on like domestics. But a lot of the, a lot of the foreign cars, they'll have it so the wiper pops up and the domestic vehicles, they don't. You'd have to actually take it off, so. It's not hard to take them off. I think I've got a 10 mil now, actually. Oh shit, I could probably take it off if I wanted to at this point. So we just gotta clean up around here, and then we will tape it, clean it off, get untangled first. That is way tangled. So some of you might recognize these from the tinning competition where everybody had to do the front door with a quarter and everybody freaked out because it's like, oh, I gotta do a quarter window at a competition. That's insane. Have I tried the new pink tool? What's the new pink tool? 
I actually haven't heard anything about it. Is it good? How did I miss a, a tool launch? I guess because they're not that exciting sometimes. All right, we got to do something about this. <laughs> Yes, it's good. Oh, well, that's cool. There. Nobody posted it in my group, so I didn't see it. Mike who? I don't know who that is, I don't think. Is that what somebody was trying to call me about last week? Is that is that the connection there? It could be. Come on. Just a... He's in Houston. Interesting. I'm not in Houston. What kind of tape? This is This is uh glass eight. This is ten mil. Uh, thick tape. You use it, I use it for a couple of different purposes. So a lot of people like it because they can see the tint underneath it. I like to use it for a little bit more than that. It also protects the glass so you can cut on it and you don't risk sc uh, scoring the glass because that's a, that's a big no-no. I know that you're not in Houston. <laughs> yeah. As memeing. Another morning, another no show. Ooh, that's no fun. I've been there. That's why I started asking for deposits. But I tell you, deposits will screw up some potentials. Because they, some people that are like on the fence um, of like calling around and pricing and stuff like that, it's another deterrent. So you always make it a little bit more inconvenient. I think there's ideal times to ask for deposits, but for the most part, if you're booking something past, you know, like if you're, if you're like working on a car and you don't have anything or you have an opening and somebody's like, hey, I can bring my car down in a couple hours or something like that. Yeah, you probably don't need to ask for a deposit. But if you're booking something more than a day out or a day or two out, yeah, for sure. So this is tight, but we're still going to do this. And hopefully this won't kill us. I don't think so. Haven't watched in a month or so? Dang. Dang. Yes, yes, we're out of the garage now. Come on, we got we got 70,000 70, subs. We should have 70,000 views for every one of these. Because <laughs> that's how it works. Not. Dang, I feel like I'm so behind now. I need to get, I need to get this new pink tool. That's going to make me the best tinter yet. Yeah, I'll look into it, I think, if I remember. Or post it in my group. What the fuck? Come on, guys. Post it in my group and tag me. There. Group. Set a memo in my group to look at some pink tool. There. I need to make you guys, I need to put you guys to work. I do too much work for you. I need you guys to work. <laughs> I will? Okay, cool. <laughs> I could have also deleted it if it was a random comment like, uh, hey, check out this new tool. I, I might have deleted it if that's the case, but I don't remember seeing a pink tool, so 
But you can tag me. I'll allow whatever this is. You seem pretty stoked on it, so. God, the lighting is so much. I'm so glad I did that. Like, this worked pretty well. Um, but it, the lights above it, I think, like, as bright as they are, the diffuser smooths it out a lot, and they need to be brighter or just better placed. So now, uh, with these lights around here brightening up the, the back wall, oh, it should be so much, so much better. I hope, because I've been trying to fix this lighting for a while, and I guess I should have just put brighter lights around it. Okay, so let's go grab our carbon. We have pretty much everything all prepped on the outside. So we're doing 20. Um, so we got 20% and then we got our 5%. These shelves have been reshuffled a bunch, like a bunch. Let me shut off this uh, this heater delay over here too. Or let me check what it is. What is our, what's our warehouse at? 68, oh my God, it is. Hell yeah. It worked. It was at like 62. And now it's at 68. Dang, dude, we got heat. I didn't know if I'd have to like climb up there and like turn something on because there's like a cut off to that or I didn't know if they turned the gas line off or anything like that. But it all works. It made it warmer. We got heat, bro. I'm looking at what we got, what we're working with. So there's no real good way to set this where everything's always balanced. It's, we always got some sort of like brighter light source. Temperature control fancy. Hell yeah, dude. 2020, we got temperature controls. But I gotta push it like a, like a Neanderthal, right? You gotta go, well, actually physically walk over there and press buttons. Maybe you should get a nest. <laughs> What is that? Is that? It's still making some weird sound. Maybe it's just in a cooling phase. I don't know. I'll give it a minute. It should shut off though. Probably running a fan, and then it'll shut off. Are you gonna double cut? Yes, yes we will. Um, will you remove the stickers on the back glass? No, there's no need to. It's not gonna interfere with anything. So you can still shrink around it, you can still cut around it. Um, we talked about it a little bit before. We're gonna leave them for right now, and then if you want to pull them off later, that's fine. But it has nothing, like stickers on the outside are not gonna interfere with the, uh, the job that goes on the inside. Not unless it was something like obscenely textured, but it's just a, it's a lay flat sticker. Oh, there it goes. Now it shut off. Oh, it's so much quieter now. <laughs> did, did you call Lumar film suicide film because it tries to roll off the glass? 
Uh, I know Luma rolls their film backwards. So in that case, if it if it rolls opposite, I'd probably do liner side uh, liner side on opposite sides, right? That's fucking great, though. I've never like I used Lumar for a little while um, when I first started, um, and yeah, I remember Lumar's rolled opposite. So that's fucking great, though. Just <laughs> suicide film trying to roll off the glass. <laughs> Good shit. Bong bong. All right, so we're gonna have to take care of the bong bong, and then. Well, that's good. That's good to know. My heater is working. I came in here this morning and I was like, ooh, chilly. Dang. I guess we're going to have to use it. What's that? Yeah, for sure. Oh, no, you're good. <laughs> yeah, no worries. And then also, I forgot to tell you, there's a bathroom back here if you need to. Yep, no problem. Oh, I appreciate it. Good stuff. Yeah, the uh, the liners on this versus Lumar are backwards. So um, the when you when you double cut them, if you put them like I do, um, they're not gonna they're gonna roll away. But on Lumar, they might start separating. I would probably just switch them around in that case. It actually would be safer. The only reason I would like th that annoys me about doing things that way. Is like is is like two seconds of convenience. So like here, it's more it's more sketchy to cut them out with the tint sides both exposed because when you just squeegee them together, you just um, you're putting more risk on potentially scratching it. But watch, so I can literally just pick this off of the passenger side, carry it over, and put it on. So like, it's not much. It's like like I said, two seconds of convenience. So it doesn't really matter all that much, but. I like it this way. Lumar, Lumar rolls it opposite, but Lumar does also work better in a plotter too, because of that, I think. All the other films will like start to roll back and then they want to like flip up so when you're loading the film it can be more of a pain. So we did 20 on the front doors. I guess we need, I don't think we got enough for quarters, but we can find out. Tried to ask them why they roll their film like they do. Yeah, I don't know, they've been doing that way forever. It kind of sucks if you're rolling, if you're running around with Lumar and you got it in boxes and it's just in the box uh, and you take like the the little rollers out. That film gets scratched up pretty quickly that way. Every other film has the liner protecting it, so it can like get jumbled around in a box and it doesn't matter. All right, so we need to cut this really slim. We should get our light for this. We're gonna regret. We're gonna regret it. Did the laws change in Michigan? No, not at all. Some people think that the so there was like before 
one governor left um, and was replaced by another one, he, he was talking about changing the window tint laws. And then so some people were under the impression that they changed. They actually never changed. There's nothing official that says that they changed. So they did not change. Um, what they were talking about changing them to was making, uh, the headline sounded, sounded fantastic because they were like, it's going to be legal on windshields and front doors. And everybody was like, whoa, now I can get window tent. Yay. Um, but what they actually put in the law was 70%. <laughs> and more restrictions on the back. So if they changed the law, it actually would have been worse. But they didn't actually change it. Um, but what that ended up doing was putting windshields on everybody's mind. And then... And then, um, sorry, uh, everybody started asking for windshields. Oh, that was a super nice comment. Hang on. One second. I got to. Uh, what was that? Just like to thank you for all that you do. And because of you and your videos, I started my own window tinting business. If you will send me your shop address so I can send you a token of my appreciation. Thank you. Oh, that's awesome. I really appreciate that. Just ser uh, search Detroit Tint Studio on maps. You'll find it. It's uh, Sterling Heights, Michigan. So really, really easy to find. Just send something out that way. And uh, dude, that's super cool. Thank you so much. I, I appreciate that message. Glad you started your, uh, your own business. Uh, your own business. That's awesome. I always get pumped whenever somebody like, like puts in the work and then starts to make it. That's super cool to hear. I'm guessing your your customer has a, a note from the doctor, or uh, it's entirely up to them. It is not my business to check. It is my business to make them aware, and then whatever they want to do is cool. And that's that's as far as that goes. The state of Michigan does not require actual shops to uh, to play police. We let the police be the police. You know, like, whenever you, uh, you see a, you know when you see, um, what am I trying to say? Like, you go into AutoZone and they sell you a bunch of accessories and on them they tell you exactly what they're for and on them also they say this may be illegal in your state. That's, that's, that's window tint. <laughs> So some states have bigger restrictions than others, and it's totally up to you to figure out what those are and what is okay and what's not. Some states like Texas, they require uh, shops to leave stickers. I think they require that in Ohio too. Not in Michigan. Michigan, you know, for not having it uh, legal without a prescription on the front is actually, I used to think it was really restrictive. It's actually not. Cops don't, cops don't roll around with meters. We don't have yearly inspections. It's the Motor City. For the most part, they don't care. They will if you've been pulled over for something else though. But for the most part, if you stay within a certain margin and you blend in, it, it's just like another car. They don't care. There's no tint law in Ohio? Yeah, there absolutely is. There's laws in every state. I think Ohio put, like, at least a while, this was like a while ago, they were starting to do some type of shop inspections in Ohio. It was actually like pretty, pretty annoying what they were doing. 
I don't know if they actually went through with it or not, but that's the, like there were some changes for a period of time. I just know that because I was down there for a competition when all that stuff was being talked about. But it's been years. <laughs> it's been years. <laughs> this is what series one of Fargo. Looking forward to season four. I'm happy for you. <laughs> I have not watched Fargo at all. What's the last show I even watched? It's been a minute. Cobra Kai? I saw that show. And then a while back. I think the, the show I'm actually looking forward to is uh, is Witcher, whenever they come out with a new season of that. It brings back like early Game of Thrones vibe and it's like way past what Game of Thrones was too. Also Westworld, Westworld really dropped off for me too. I was sad about that. Are you a Game of Thrones fan? I was. They butchered, they butchered like some of the last seasons. It had its ups and downs and then it just kind of fell off. It stopped being Game of Thrones. What Game of Thrones was really good at was making you like, like random characters that they would introduce. What's the name of the tape you used? It's called Glass Aid. You can Google it, but it's also on mytinstuff.com. Hey. But yeah, it was super annoying. What what Game of Game of Thrones did was like originally, like they played it very well in the first season, right? It's like the show was about Ned, and then you followed him around, and then they killed him, and you're like, what the fuck? Where's the show? And then they just kept going, and you're just like, oh well, this person's kind of cool. <laughs> and then next thing you know, there's whole new story arcs, and then they would kill them off. So it was like an ever-evolving, continuing show. Um, and it was really, really good. And then they just like, it, it became super predictable. That always makes me, so you have a cut here, and you have a cut here, and then when you pull this way, sometimes it just like, how does it rip through the entire thing without meeting that cut? All right, we're just getting a couple of pieces for those. And then... <laughs> Stuff tears weird, I will say that. What now? I would like to know how you found this business site and went about financing it. What do you mean, like getting a shop and making all that work? Everything's out of pocket. I don't finance 
anything other than a car that I buy. Or maybe a house. Getting getting a shop, like you the the thing about getting a shop is like I don't recommend anybody gets a shop unless uh they have some existing clients. That that to me makes the most sense. It's like grow into it. Don't just jump into it. And that's kind of like we did it what I would say prematurely, but I have other th things that were running that help make this place sustainable right now. Um, I would have, I would have, like, me from my home garage to here, I would have waited, definitely. I would have waited until I had, like, every day consistently booked up, or at least most days. What am I looking for? Heat gun, that's what I'm looking for. But yeah, I would have waited until I had every day consistently booked up, or at least a lot of days, and like running what I want to do pretty regularly before I made a jump. I just didn't have a choice. So, which, what do we have on there? 23. Oh, good. We need to make decisions. We gotta shrink some stuff. But yeah, I mean, getting in a building is actually pretty easy. I mean, they're like, hey, uh, we need, like, it's expensive, but it's nothing more than, hey, uh, put the utilities in your name, this is what the deposit is, and this is what your monthly rent's gonna be, good luck. That's it. You can get a business license, um, that's an easy process too. You just file with the state. You can use a company like Legal Zoom or whatever. Open up a bank account. Um, all that is is <laughs> can be done pretty quickly, except like the filing process takes a little bit, more like a couple weeks to maybe a month, depending on your state and stuff. But yeah, it's literally like, hey, if you got the business, then. I mean, you can definitely be in a shop. Then you have the ever expense of RGB strips and lighting and whatever else you want to do to the space. But from personally going through what I did, I'd say I really like starting from home or start from a small space that you can start building your own clientele up because they're they're coming for you. So the idea of like a big fancy shop and and whatever, it's like it's it's overrated especially in the beginning. Build up the client base, work into it and then make the jump and you already have existing people calling you and booking up. So then it's just like you just move that into another facility. And at least have things mostly in place where, like, you know, I have walls and a garage door. I can pull stuff in and get started right away. And then I can do this as I go. So all the fun stuff. If I had this place 100% set up to move in here, like before I got started, I still wouldn't be started. I just, this is my hobby now. <laughs> Fucking with the lights and stuff like that, which I have a couple more things coming, but it, we just, we just did this type of stuff and that was fun. I prefer tinning on windy days in the sun. Nice. <laughs> Lexan, where can I get it? You know Google, you could Google that exact phrase and I bet you it'll turn up some good results for you. If you're gonna buy Lexan, get it off their site though. Hey! Alligator with a $5 super chat. I couldn't agree more, they come for you. That's it.
thing. Yes, it did. All right, good shit. Yay, oh, my screen's bigger. This is nice. I look like a doofus. <laughs> all right, all right. I had to, I had to take a sip of coffee and read that. Yeah, I super agree with that, definitely. Like I was talking about. They're, they're there for you. Everything else that you set up is really like, yeah, you want some sort of level of professionalism and blah, 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 blah. But you'd be surprised what you can get started with. It's just like any, like customer service trumps all. How many cars do I do a day? Right now? Not many. <laughs> Not many at all. So this week I had a set of doors and a windshield strip earlier, and then it's literally been, uh, oh, we had that full windshield on Monday. I had a set of doors and a windshield strip. What was that? Insurance policy. What kind of insurance policy do you have to open your shop? How much do you expect to pay a month? Um, for an insurance policy, there's just a wide range, and I would say it depends on your state. Just shop around. Um, I I can't give you that type of information because I just I don't know for your state. But like for for my state, you just like there's just shop liability stuff and whatnot. They'll go over it with you. Talk to an insurance couple. You could, like, shop around, find a couple insurance agents. I also know there's, like, you can get something really cheap from home called Garage Keepers Insurance, and that's, like, under $100 a month. So this little trick, I don't, because I don't think this one works on this type of, oh, it does. Oh, shit. Okay. Good stuff. So usually I have to cut out some portion for the spoiler and then tuck it up in there. This cruise, it just like lined up. I'm probably overlapped a little bit. I just put it up as far as I could. I do half a million liability for $800 a year. Oh, that's good. What I will tell you is you can easily, and I did this too, you can easily overthink everything. Just get started and figure it out as you go. There's like all these things that you could set up early on. Well, it did work. It's not working now. Oh, that's why. Oh, okay. There we go. This is, this is what I'm going to tell most people. Get started and figure it out as you go because there's nothing that is going to, like, <laughs> you're not going to tin a car and, and like, an insurance company or, or like, the government's going to be knocking on your door the next day and be like, hey, you need all these things in place. And even if they, even if that happened, you would be like, oh, okay, yeah, I'll get that taken care of ASAP. Like, <laughs> just get started. Get started, tint some cars, start generating money, because you're gonna learn so much. You're gonna learn how to how to check in cars, how to bill, how to do all that shit. I didn't know how to do it necessarily <laughs> when I first like started taking appointments. I was just like, uh, I have a POS system now. Um, I guess just hand me your card and I'll try and see how about getting you a good invoice. <laughs> Which I used tint was for all my invoices, and I don't even print them out, I just email them. So that's super handy. And then I was able to get signed up with like PayPal here, which is a POS system. They don't they don't ask for anything. They're just like, okay, here you go. I'm like, okay, cool. They do later on, so it's like get set up in the meantime, but 
There's so many businesses that like start and fail. So it's like you can just get started and then I'm not saying avoid it, but like just work on it while you're while you're going. Don't stress out too much. Oh, that's a good point. Most cities want businesses to succeed, so that's why they can be laid back. Yeah, I could agree with that. I'm sure it depends on the city, but it's like, yeah, I, I agree with they probably want businesses to succeed. So as long as they see like you're a legitimate business that's trying uh, to follow the city rules and shit like that, then like, like yeah, you're you're good. I mean, shit, the city didn't want me doing it from home, and I still did it from home <laughs> for a little while. I didn't necessarily know that, but hey, here we are. Am I still in business? <laughs> I say so. So how's the weather in your guys' state? It got stupid cold here very quickly. It was fine. And then like, so on Tuesday it was like a little cold. And then I went in on Friday. And then I was like, I wore shorts and I was like, oh, fuck this. So now I'm wearing jeans. Sad. Oh, there we go. You have a heat wave in San Diego? What the fuck? God, I'm in the wrong state. You guys know I was talking about moving. And I'm stuck here. Oh, the 60s. Fuck, dude. It dropped down to like 40s last night. Uh, what was that? Tent Pro! Tent Pro with the $5 super chat. I am the one who's, who's being telling you about the pink squeegee. I'll tag you. Oh, there you go! Thank you so much for the $5 super chat. That's how you get my attention. I appreciate it. All right, now, now you have piqued my interest. Let me know when you post it, and then I'll check it out. We will check it out. If you have some pictures and stuff, I'll even look at it on stream for you, and then we'll, we'll talk about it. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's just there's so many things. So it's like just try and grab my attention at the right time. That's why these streams are so good. It's because, like, it might be slow, but I'm... Fuck, dude. Get, I'm, like, going crazy trying to even set up the, the, the stream the way that I, like... So it looks good. Fuck. Daniel Reyna. What's up, buddy? Kamustapo. Thanks, buddy. That's, uh, that's Filipino for... Like, what's up? I think. Yes. Yes, that is. Salamat. <laughs> Tint got to represent. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> so I have to ask you guys, has this like been stuttery? I feel like it's still been a little stuttery. To me, it, it doesn't seem like it's been... Oh, you butchered that? You know, whatever. <laughs> Here, I've got to look at this. Dang, dude. No stutter, it's been good? Okay. I feel like it has been a little bit. But if you, if you guys are saying no, then that's good. Good here? Maybe it's because it's, it's doing... D what? DCN! D3V with a $10 super chat. Thanks, buddy. You haven't super chatted before. No message either. Did I miss anything? No. Holy shit. Thank you so much. Dang, super chat's coming in now. 
Everybody's had their coffee now at this point. 10.30. 30's the time that everybody's like, okay. I know, like, some people are out in California, too, so that makes us, like, way early. You still using the 8? Yeah. I had to return the 9. I'm really upset about that. So, I had the 9. I did a ton of comparisons. And they just, it, no matter what, it, it, it didn't even look as bad as the 8 did. Daniel Reyna! With a $10 super chat. Dude, thank you so much. I was reading the next comment, too. Dude, thank you so much. Oh, there he is. Much love. Much love, 586, 100%. Oh, area code. Yeah, I know that area code. Very cool, man. Another Michigan person. Um, but Dana Reyna, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, so, okay. Um, so the difference between the 8 and the 9, they have a newer sensor in the 9, but as far as I can figure, it's not a different size. They crammed more pixels, which means that it shows more detail, but it's not necessarily as good in and lower light circumstances. But then I saw it in low light and it still looked better. But there's something with the live streaming that they have not tuned yet, I don't know. Whatever GoPro settings that you set and then go live, they do not stay. So it, GoPro for live streaming is all auto. So you could set like 30, you could set linear, you could set a different color profile. None of that sticks when you go live, so it's just you go live, you try and tweak some stuff on the computer side of things in OBS if you're streaming to OBS, and then you just like, hopefully everything works good. That's why this has been so frustrating to work with. I can make this, I can, I can change this camera all day long and make it look amazing, um, but the GoPro is really more limited to, for live streaming, it's like, what does your environment make the camera look like? That's what you gotta live with. So unfortunately, uh, the 9, dude, I changed some lighting. I did a bunch of stuff. The only thing is I didn't have these lights up here, which probably would have helped it out. Oh! I can't. I, what? 27! <laughs> 27 with the $5 super chat. My name is Lindy Pel Pellerino uh, in the Facebook groups. Oh, okay. Rock on. Thank you so much for that $5 super chat. This is an interesting super chat, too. Most people don't want to call out their own names. Which I don't blame you. Korean Tinter TV. Hi, what's up? All right, we're going we're gonna to continue with this cruise. Cruise. But yeah, like, I told my wife, I'm like, I think I'm going to return the GoPro. And she's like, good. And I was like, why? She's like, because you'll get the money back. I was like, yeah, but I want it to look better. I'm sad because, like, when, when there's, like, a significant, any type of significant thing for live streaming or, like, you know, the setup that I use, like, I want to get it. And I want it to be better. But it just wasn't. So maybe there'll be an update in the future. I just, it's a hard thing to hang on to at $450 on the hopes that it's going to get better. So I think the, the nail in the coffin for me did I shrink these? I did. I shrunk those. I got to make sure I shrunk all this. I kind of got distracted with the backlash. Normally, I don't do that. Yeah, everything's shrunk. All right, we're going to start installing some doors. So, what I think is going to fix things is if a camera company comes out with, like, a bigger sensor... So there's the uh, the only thing that that has the potential so far that's out on the market to kind of uh, replace my eight would have been the nine, um, 
but there's the Insta360 1R with the one inch sensor. But unfortunately, they, they just put out an update that does live streaming, but the one inch sensor doesn't support it. And according to some YouTube review, it only goes live for 30 minutes at a time before it pauses the live stream because it's gonna overheat. And it's like, oh, well shit. That kind of ruins everything then. So we're still on the eight and hopefully just the lighting makes it look better. <laughs> Smile. We need, we need a stool and then we'll get these installed. Forgot where my stool is. Is it here? Is it in this mess? It is. I have foregoed a lot of the carrying cases. I wrap them up in towels because I'm just trying to get away. And then we need a blade potentially. Starting with driver's window? No, we're doing passenger. Always passenger. Just habit. Hopefully there's some sort of significant update, but I will be hard pressed to go buy it again just to try it. Man, I got that thing before I even saw a review for it. It did last longer though. How much for windshield tint? Um, I started a uh, full windshield at like with a full car, typically 130. Just by itself, it's typically 150. <laughs> Good point. Australia, it's the uh, it's the driver's door. Good point. Good point. Holy shit. I was like, wait, why do people think that it's the driver's door? Oh, oh fuck, here I am, stuck in America. How much do I charge for a whole car? Uh, it depends on the film type. So we start things at 240 and a color stable died. Um, and uh, two, 295 for carbon and then two or 395 for ceramic. And then different, like, you know, those prices also are, are different for like adding a full windshield. Each film's a little bit of a different price too in their perspective windows. Yeah, this one, uh, this one we are doing carbon. Super chat. I can't wait to come up there and have you redo my windshield. Ah, oh, fuck. Thank you. I'm saying, oh fuck, because I keep forgetting. Oh dude, we should do that this week. I'm not just saying that this time. Like legitimately, probably Wednesday or Thursday, I guess. Maybe Monday, fuck, maybe we should do it Monday. I don't know, I, I have openings for sure. I am not very booked up right now.
I have just enough to kind of keep the stream limping along. It got cold. Whenever school starts and the weather changes, like you're, you're at the ass end of the summer season, it'll pick back up and there'll be like random times, but when it first hits, it throws a lot of people off. Plus there's the whole not being established. <laughs> so there's that. Shit, do I have too much soap? I might have too much soap. Oh yeah, I got a little bit heavy on the soap side. Because we are on cold weather mode. Or hot weather mode. But that'll let me get this stupid close. Then we'll warm it up, lock it in place. So, if you ever have, this is where I always suggest adding too much soap rather than too little. To start, if you're unsure, go a little overboard. Am I available Monday morning? Yeah, I could get, I could do it Monday morning for sure. We could set it up for Monday morning, and then we'll have a, a full windshield Monday. That'll work. That'll get me out of bed. <laughs> but yeah, so if you ever use too much soap, um, you got to take just a little bit of time to warm up your corners. The way you know you have a little bit too much soap is when you squeegee it down, and it just keeps moving around. Um, it also will be not necessarily t like too much soap for the temperature. So things cool down a little bit more. So that's why like you just got to give it that little bit, make sure it's locked down uh, before you roll it up or else it's going to start like walking. And you don't want that. I just realized we put my shank on window wiper duty. It's like, where is it? Oh yeah, about that. Booked up, I'm jealous. Something about being the new kid on the block. It was kind of funny though, like we got, I'm still getting some phone calls, but it's like, it's pretty, pretty random. It was very encouraging the first week because I think there was still a fair amount of surplus of people like looking for a place that just didn't have one. And then like last, Saturday, weather warmed up. And there was a lot. There was like a lot of inquiries, so that's when we booked this one, which was super cool. And then, uh, yeah, it just, it, it picks up, and then it, it like dies back down. That's how it always goes. Until you get relatively established, and you get some more consistency. 
why I say start small. Because you always have those days that'll just like die down and just build up a rep for yourself first. Do you sell the plastic on your site? No. No, this is just a uh, carpet shield from Lowe's. It works really well on panels and stuff. Not all of them though. I think I've said this ever since people asked me about this. Um, I still want to find something that sticks more consistently because there's some types of panels it just doesn't stick to. But it's very convenient to go get some and it's not very expensive either, so. Oh yeah, if there's people that want or like interested in an appointment. Um, yeah. Uh, message us right now on Facebook or call. Those are the two best ways. Usually Facebook's really good because my buddy Nick can help with the, setting up the appointment. That's preferred versus calling right now. At least like while I'm streaming. After I'm streaming, it's great. During the stream, it makes it a little bit hard. So this was the, uh, this is what threw everybody off at the competition. Crash wrap works on door panels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's basically what I need. Makes sense because they use it for uh, for the whole industry, the body shop industry or whatever. I think we're a little too low. Yeah, I think we went a little bit long. I forget that they have that matrix right at the bottom, but I thought you could tuck it, but we'll see. I don't think you can tuck this one. We'll see where we're at. Oh shit. No, nope, we might be good. My whole top laid down. Pre-cuts, pre-cuts are fine. I mean, at the end of the day, if it looks this, the same, I mean, you can't really argue. Um, with hand cutting, you can be a lot more consistent. Or at least like the, the inconsistencies that you can run into is more, like you're, it's more reliable with hand cutting um, than like a lot of the softwares that I've seen, but I think we're just slightly, oh, we're just slightly pushed up. But I don't, it's one of those tricky ones. You can't really cut very easily. Really? Dang, dude. Yeah, it's gonna fuck me. Alright. So there's a matrix border at the bottom of this. Is it hard to convince customers when you just opened? Um. Oops. No, it's it's more about price when you just opened. The bottom hit, the top rolled. So it depends on who you come across. So like there's other places that have uh, longer built reputations and you're just the new kid on the block. People don't know you. A lot of people get their tint from referrals from other people. So they ask like, hey, where did you go? And 
So if you get the market of people that are looking that don't have a referral, um, then they look at stuff like reviews um, and, and whatnot. So places with that have been in business longer, that, that are more established, they obviously will have more reviews than you do. So those types of things really will help. I mean, I've, I've seen it firsthand from a place that, that had, you know, was very slow, very new, um, did good work. And then it, it like, you know, after two, three years, then it's like a lot of people trust them and a lot of people go there now. But it, it takes time to build up that, that reputation and that client base. I mentioned this was a quarter window that threw everybody off at the competition, but I did get mine. <laughs> Unfortunately, I had too much soap in my bottle, just like I did on this driver's door. And so what happened was when I when I mentioned like the film can quote unquote walk, the uh, like if you don't have your top edge completely tacked down where you want it. Um, I made this slightly too short. No! No! Oh, it fits there, but god damn it. All right, third time. We will get this, we will get this right, and we will get this spot on where it needs to be. So help me God. Uh, I was really happy with what I did at the competition, except my, uh, my door, what happened was it slid down. So, at one corner, third time, third time's the charm. So we need to keep, you need to keep it just slightly up. And contrary to what I thought, I cut it slim. And I should have cut it just a slightly bit wide. That would have helped. Yeah, yeah, they're not super fun. They're not hard. They're just, you just gotta get your cut spot on. So yeah. <laughs> if your plotter lines up really well, then yeah, you're gonna have a quicker time doing stuff like this, for sure. So cut them a little bit wider than the border. Um, Cause they're very similar to the charger quarter windows where like the, the rubber seal is actually a little bit um, brought in on the inside. So like when you're looking at it straight on, if you cut everything exact, it'll look fine. But then uh, when you look at it where the driver's gonna be seated, seated at an angle, it's not gonna be fine.
I'm gonna email, wait on a confirmation. Whoa, wait, does somebody want an appointment? That would be cool. That'd be cool if this stream literally brought in an appointment. There we go. Monday morning. Ooh, yeah, what kind of car? Yay. That's better. Jeep Cherokee Sport. Hell yeah. There we go. Quarter. That's a hundred now. No gaps. Hashtag no gaps. Um. <sighs> Monday morning. Oh shit! This was the dude that super chatted too. Oh hell yeah, we can set you up. 2015 Galaxy Blue. Uh, yeah. Can you can you message us on Facebook, the Detroit Tint Studio page? Or you can send an email to uh, Matt at DetroitTintStudio.com. I don't know why there. Now all you guys, don't, everybody else don't email me, okay? Just him. Fuck. Message us on Facebook or, or that, so that would be great. But we can definitely set you up for Monday. What kind of film? We are using GeoShield C2 Carbon on this one. I'm blowing up your email for sure. Ah, you shitters. I knew it. That's just my work email. I have more. Oh, somebody somebody asked about a gap on the front. Uh, yeah, that's so that's going to be your cut for sure. You can see, took me a couple of tries on this one. Plastic. That's what I mean. So the reason for that gap is angles. We get to learn about is geometry class now. Do I charge extra for front quarters? Uh, not lately. So, so like what we had on this was if you cut it exact here and then you go on the inside, this was the issue we were having. Um, if you look at it dead on, it's fine. But then when you look at it at an angle, if your cut's too short, yeah, so right in here is where you're going to have that, uh, that gap because it's offset. So the the outside seal is a little bit pushed farther forward than the inside seal. And there's a thickness to that glass. So what you want to do is you have to cut the pattern just a little bit wider. That way everything gets covered up. Same thing with like the chargers. Chargers have offset seals like that too where on the long straight edge, 
On the inside, it's slightly back, uh, it's slightly wider than the outside. So when you go to put it on the inside, your pattern is going to be a little bit shy. What percent? Um, we're doing five on the back, 20 on the front. So these back quarters, they have something similar. Um, so this edge is more exact, but this inside, you have a little bit more leeway on the top, and then when you get into this rounded corner, it comes pretty tight. It's just one of those things. There's always one of those things with every car. So, take your time, make your cut just right. For quarter windows, for back glasses, um, generally speaking, plotters are gonna save you time on cutting something like that. Where plotters really um, fail me is like when you have technical problems or the patterns. More often than not, patterns can be off. So they can be a little off on the top edge. They could be short on the front or back where they're leaving gaps. And you just don't know until you install it. So that's where like there's people that like them. If you take the time to get used to your software and the quirks about whatever patterns, they have with their particular software, you'll be better off. Um, but it can, it can definitely take some time because when you just like, hey, I want a plotter to assist me, I don't tint that many cars, plotter's not gonna help out that much. Plotter's, plotter's really a production machine. What the fuck? I have 2% on my back windows, or I have 2% on my front windows and 0% on my back. Did you just vinyl them? <laughs> Why? Yeah, so this is got a little bit. Uh, you have a little bit of like where you could tuck the film under that seal. Check this edge. Sometimes you can sneak it under this one, just that corner. It's just a little tight. So where are we at? Oh, we haven't even cut this yet. 
So that makes sense. So we definitely need a light. This is one of those where I will cut it once without the glass shade or with, and then if it, it just, if I don't get it right, we'll do it without. Do I have any hobbies? Yeah, my hobbies are this stream, honestly. God damn, that's too, what did we do on this? Or are you just gonna take it off? It's too tight. It's gonna be it's gonna be way too tight on that corner for me to get an accurate cut, so we just gotta go soft. Um Yeah, so like <laughs> these, all the lighting up here, um doing stuff that improve the stream and er, is kind of technical for me. That's that's my hobby. So like it was super, it would have been super boring, but it was uh, entertaining for me and frustrating. I spent the last three days trying to figure out how to turn a switch on and off <laughs> through Super Chats. So there's this, uh, there's this program, uh, there's this like web app program. It's been around for a long time. It's called If This Then That. And the idea is uh, it integrates a lot of systems together. So like Philips Hue, uh, Lifex, um, email, uh, Amazon, um, the like the voice activated things. So basically it's like if I tell a system to do this, then something happens on this other system. So for example, if I tell um, or if I do, if I do a thing and this, this light bulb turns off, then it triggers something else. So, the simplistic version of that for, for my use case is, if somebody super chats, then this is what happens. So, what I found out is if this, then that, um, will toggle physical switches. So like physical Wi-Fi switches, they'll turn them off and on. But there's no timer or anything on it. It's instantaneous. It will literally turn it off, turn it on. So it's just click, click. So I have some newer lights coming, and I also have a, um, have a police siren coming. Or police light siren from siren. Basically, <laughs> we're going to make Super Chats more fun. You'll see. So the super frustrating... The super frustrating part for me was... Uh, fuck, dude. I, like, for the life of me, I couldn't get it to turn off and then come back on after, like, five seconds or or be on and then shut off and then whatever. It was like trying to input a five second delay or have it do it more than once. It just wasn't happening. So it took me three days to figure out a system that would actually make that work. It was annoyingly frustrating, but I got it. I did it. So next week should be more interesting. But that's my... <laughs> That's a long story. That's my hobby. I do, I figure out shit like that. And I just, I can't stop. <laughs> so it's like I try and stay up late and do it. My wife says go to bed. And then I'm thinking about it. And then it, it's just like drive myself crazy. It's like it can't be done. It's so easy. It should be able to be done. But I can't, what? And then finally figured it out. It was kind of like getting live streaming off of a GoPro onto my own channel um, through OBS. That was another one of those things that it's like, it should be possible. I think it's possible. And then you start learning 
about a lot of random stuff that you, had, you that you didn't really know about, and then trying to figure out how to get those systems to kind of work together to do what you need. Yay, our cut worked out. So this, no gaps, and looks good. So we go to the other side. Speaking of GoPro, we probably have to check the battery. So let's do that. <laughs> New hobby is going to be changing diapers. No. I sure hope not. I don't want it to be. That'll just be another thing that gets done. <sighs> I've got plenty of those things that just get done. Um, so let's plug this in. Yeah, we're down to 20%, so we gotta swap a battery real quick. We need to pick what survives. The good news is I, I can still swap batteries very easily because we didn't change GoPros. <laughs> Took me six hours to send an Audi A6 four times. The goddamn bug got in the back glass. This car killed me. Oh, A6. Is that the one with the back glass that like pops up? Audis in general, they're not super fun until you get used to them. Then I'd say they're still not fun, but they get a little easier. Dude, this, the glass shop was like Audi and VW City. It was ridiculous. I kept getting A8s and Jettas and stuff like that. What was that question? How mainstream are you taking this? What do you mean? Planning a trip this winter? No. No. I forgot about that. I forgot. I have a different camera. So I have another webcam thing that I'm playing around with. So I forgot. I, I clicked that by mistake. But cool. I'm always playing around with random shit for here. What about this? What about that? How about we do this? Cheese it grooves. I haven't had those yet. Those sound good though. I've had the cheese it crisps. Oh, those are fantastic. Dang. Yeah, this looks good. This looks really, really good. Cool. Are you anywhere near Maryland? Not really. Ah, uh, Michigan. So, handful of hours away. You're all up in that, that corner. Where's that main? We got the coffee sticker. Oh. T Jet. I always I always appreciate these super stickers. Coffee. Thanks, buddy. 
not sponsored by Starbucks, I wish. <laughs> oh, needed that. Thank you so much for the $4 super sticker. What is that? Market wise, are you stopping at tint? Or are you going to vinyl, paint job, exclusive rims and tires and stuff like that? No, it's mostly going to be window tint. Um, where we're going to diversify a little bit is we're going to open up a training program. Um, I let this get away from me, and this is <laughs> there it is. Any any plans for a class now that the shop is up and running? Yeah, the problem right now is. If I like, I was like, oh, I'm gonna have this up and running really, really soon. Then I ran into like booking issues and, and stuff like that. Um, but home life is just one of those things right now that is just not gonna make it happen until the baby comes. So baby's coming mid-November, so it gives me a little bit of time to set that program up a little bit better and make the spaces a little bit better and over plan. Like I said, it just needs to get started. But um, what I'm like, I just I cannot book something at this point um, at through October to November because the due date's mid November. And I'm just at this point, it's like all hands on deck for the most part. So I don't want to promise a class and then have people book and then fly out and then something happens. So I'm guessing early, early next year or mid December to early next year is probably when is when we're probably going to open up the workshop at this point. I wanted to get it started a little sooner and then it's like, Dude, we, we, we still have like doctor's appointments to go to and stuff like that. So look forward to it uh, or look for it like more towards, I think, the beginning of next year is when you're going to see me. I'll talk about it up till then some. And then when I have it available, I'll make sure to like post about it and whatnot. Yeah, I was like, I wanted to get it started as soon as like next week, but it's like, I'm just nervous at this point. I'm like, man, I could, and there'd probably be a handful of sessions that would be okay. I just really would feel horrible if I like had to reschedule something and somebody booked a flight or something. I just like, I can't let that happen. What do you use for the pre-cuts? Uh, I use a, uh, I, another shop actually helps me out with those kits. So what's cool is they actually uh, do a lot more on the software end of things and they know they, they have four different softwares. That's the only thing that gave me confidence to sit back up again. So they're, they're, uh, I got hooked up with another uh, GeoShield dealer um, so the kits are geo, and they actually have like, um, they have expel patterns, they have some other patterns, um, and they install them on a regular basis, and they tweak a bunch of stuff. So they're a full-blown shop that do a lot of cars, and they know how to handle that stuff. Um, so they're actually better suited to do it than me. So the kits that come off of the sites are fulfilled through them. So I couldn't exactly tell you which software, but whatever it is, it's the best choice for the vehicle that you pick. I always say this. I always say Expel has the best, best patterns. Problem is, they're not available to a lot of my community because of how locked down they are. And I understand why. It's just... Frustrating when people ask me about plotters. Congratulations to your wife 
You and your wife? Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. Kids are a blessing. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> no, I'm sure. Yeah, we got to trim this up just a little bit. Just a little bit. Big change. But we're pretty we're pretty settled at this point for like where we're going to be for a while with things going, so it's like if we're going to have kids, if we're going to have kids, now is actually a good time to do it. What's your starting price for carbon and ceramic? What's your price for carbon and ceramic? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, oh, I got to pause that. Why is this still going? There. Too many things on an older computer is not good. Uh, so starting price is on like sides and back on like a sedan. Um, so it's basically everything but the sunroof and the windshield would be two, uh, 295 in carbon and 395 for ceramic. Kids are life changing, have fun, and take lots of pics. I'll remember that. Thank you. Yeah, um, I want to get, I, I want them to be old enough to go to Disney. <laughs> I just want to go on a fun little family vacation. But when they're too young, it's like, just be screaming the whole time. What kind of razor is the yellow one? Uh, it's just like a rough scraper. It's like the Gator Blade, but it's it's not as hard. Uh, but it's got like a it's got a relatively sharp edge to it. I really like the shape, and I was surprised. I was surprised by the material. It's like smooth-ish. I think if you like sanded it down, you could actually use it as like a installation squeegee. But without it, it would probably scratch the tint. But this thing, it like, it's pretty like well, uh, it, it's got like a a decent, it's a little rough at the edge, but it, like the angle and the shape, it works really good. The similar, da, da, da. like, let me, so I'll show you guys on the next window, but I use ga a lot of gator blades, and I think gator blades have like a better edge on them. This is just a little wider. You cover more ground, and it's like really lightweight. I like them. I think they both have their pros. Um, Pros and cons. I wish it was a little bit smoother, so if you like sanded it down, it actually might work as a pretty decent edge squeegee or something. So like, take it and that type of thing, but not yet. Not with it just being regular. So I always like taking like not an actual razor blade, um, even though I still use them. It depends on the window. A lot of times it's like it's just something I can use to like quick clean the glass and then use a clay bar. Oh, this lighting. Oh, my 
God, this lighting's so nice. It like this whole wall's lit up now. Hell yeah. Okay. What is that one? <laughs> Wait one second. Oops, you have a boo boo on your finger. Oh, dude. Yeah, like literally my middle finger. So if I show you guys, I'm flipping you off. I went to pull a box out of my uh, out of my truck, and then it like it. The edge of this toolbox just like, and I'm like, ah, no fun. Um, but <laughs> the, this this comment is so funny. Good morning, Tink God. May I receive your blessings on, on this Hyundai Elantra? <laughs> what do we do for like a tint blessing? Like, go forth. It's like knighting somebody, but like, go forth and do a good job. You have my blessing. <laughs> I don't know what we could do, but I think that would be hilarious. Like some people would say, pray to the tint god, tint gods. I am not, I am not that. Although that's what people keep calling me now. Or at least a couple people, probably. Okay, so we're got to do this. We need some more plastic. We already have the back window cut and shrink. It's just a matter of finishing this door and then we will be all set with this car. So honestly, not that much longer. We got a lot out of the way when we did the back window a little earlier. So the real tricky part's gonna be that quarter window, which isn't that tricky. You just gotta take a little time to cut it right. It's been a while since I've done one of these. So like if you do them a little bit more regularly, you just kind of like remember, oh, this is how I should cut it. And if you, if you force yourself to be a little patient with your cut, you'll do fine. It's when you kind of try and rush it. That's when things don't turn out as nice. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, that one was good. <laughs> Alligator. Alligator, that is a good one. Holy shit. May the wind be calm and no dust in the air. And all the tinters said amen. Amen, brother. <laughs> Thank you so much for that super chat. That's fucking great. <laughs> exactly, something like that. We need like a, we need like a, God, I don't want to say a cult saying, but like, and all the tinters said amen. So shall it be written, so shall it be done. That was so funny. That <laughs> oh, that right there is a good reason why I do these. There's just some good good shit that comes out of there that you just would never expect. We need a, a high tint council. <laughs> Just like ham it up as much as possible.
Are you sponsored by Dio? Yeah, they they help out with the with the whole program. Have you tried the new V Nano? I have not. I've talked about it too. They uh like so V Nano I I have a tough time placing it in my range of films. I my opinion is I don't want to install anything with the, like that's that doesn't have a lifetime guarantee on it. So that's where it's like I would rather install a color stable dyed film than something like V Nano, and it's not to like degrade V Nano. It's just like I just you know, there's people that come in here for maybe it's just more of like a budget southern thing, I guess. So it's like you could install two things, like one ceramic uh, with like a limited warranty and one with like a, a longer warranty. That to me makes sense, but like what under the program that I'm doing, it just doesn't make as much sense. So it's like you have uh, everything with a color stable lifetime warranty. When people come here, I don't want them to ever feel like they have to pay for any type of long term support, like above whatever my films are. If you have an issue, I'll take care of it. Period. Like, so everything that I install is good. So then it comes down to like, uh, really the better film is like more heat rejection is what it comes down to. So I don't like, hey, I don't think it necessarily is, it's not going to make your car look better. Everything looks good. Everything has UV protection. Everything is going to last. It's really, the value prop then is heat rejection. So I'm sure that V Nano is a decent film. I mean, in five years is no slouch. I think that's what it's rated for. So it's like, I guess if you're getting a lot of leases, you want a budget ceramic, that's where it would make sense. Um, but when I, like for me personally in my, in my lineup, when I get into ceramic, ceramic is, is like top of the line film. So that's when you always get into something that's, that's more expensive. Um, so I haven't, I haven't seen a, a good fit for, for my program unless I like got rid of my carbon and I got rid of, uh, my dyed. I basically would probably at that point have to switch to like carbon entry level, uh, limited lifetime warranty ceramic and then better warranty ceramic. But like that's strikes me as a little bit weird because the C2's got a lifetime warranty and then we go to a better film or a better performance with less warranty so it's like I don't want them to spend more and then risk that not lasting. I guess like the other thing is like you can get such a bad rep when you install film that doesn't last. That's like, that's like one of the, 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 probably the number one thing is like, is it gonna last? That's always on Tenor's minds. And then comes everything else, like performance, uh, pricing, stuff like that. Cool. Roll downs on these are always easier than the quarters. <laughs> so we taped it, but I don't think I don't think it's don't think it's the smartest of ideas on this one. So we're gonna forego that.
and we're just gonna do a very close cut. You can get pretty accurate, but you still aren't gonna get as accurate as seeing it. So it's definitely got its pros, pros and cons. We don't have a piece, do we? That's this stuff here. Nope, this is five. This is definitely five. Yeah, let's just drop that. This looks more better. Oh, shit, we need that light, don't we? So, we're gonna line this up towards the bottom, but we gotta lift it. There's just that dot matrix area that sits right above that edge, and then it pretty much just cuts everything off. All right, so what do we need? We need this to be just a little bit wider. Easier to cut this on the driver's side with my right hand. Do I have a video that showcases tools? Um, most of them. Uh, look up Tint Tools 2000, I think 2019. I should just update it because the tools really haven't changed. Um, but all, all the stuff that I carry um, in my belt and like my main tools, uh, I feature in that video. Does the pink triage not scratch? No, no, most of the triages don't scratch. They have the potential to, like any tool does when it starts wearing out. But for the most part, no. They're really, really handy. Perfect. That's what you want to see. So this, if I squeak it forward a little bit, I'm gonna have a gap. So we just gotta, gotta go very, Gotta be real gentle here. We're gonna let it warm up and tack just a, just a little bit. Cause it's slipping. I also put a charger on this one cause he has subs in this. It's always one of those questionable things like when you when you have to turn the key on and somebody has subs, Sometimes like the battery can already be pretty worn out or has the potential to just wear down while the, while it's on. So we put a battery charger on it. There, this one went a little bit easier than the other one. I think there was a slight bit of room on this one too. 
So we got to pop this back window in, and then that's pretty much it. Like I said, we were lagging behind a little bit, but not bad. Blue lasts a long time. Yeah, they they all kind of do, but yeah. So like the the way that they go is pink is the softest, um, blue is like middle, and then yellow is the hard one, and then they have the orange one that I think is a little harder too, but it's got that squeegee on it. So like this is the orange one with that little squeegee there. Squeegee, I don't know. I'm not. A, it hasn't been that helpful. I end up just using like. The yellow one and the pink one. The blue ones are really good too. I had a lot of the blue uh, t tint was edition ones that I that I wore through. But those were colored purple, but they were super good. Oh, I guess we can use this glass board, huh? So this is all cut and shrunk, so now we just have to clean the inside and stick it. I'm a little sad. I had lights behind this. And it looked, oh God, it was so cool. It looked like a portal <laughs> from another dimension. It was really fun. But having a light source down here level with everything made it wash out or like darken up everything else too much. So. We moved those lights to like a different spot. Which, as far as I can tell, I think it's been better. Oh, we need a towel. Yes. He's got subs back here. So we're going to take a towel. We're going to cover those up because we do not want water dripping on stuff like that. The Terminator. What is that MTX? No, oh, MTX is legit shit. Mm, I guess up here too, probably. It kind of just puts it in the same spot. Yeah, let's do that. Everything will drip right in there. Um. Where's our clay bar? Hatch windows. Hatch windows are nice. I think the funniest thing about this car is like the quarter windows for as like simplistic as you would think that they could be. And they they are to some extent. It's just like taking the time to like get those cuts right. They're really like the most challenging part of this whole car. So when I install back windows, I have fingers that pop up on the inside. What could be causing that? Um, not shrinking it enough. So you still, even if you shrink it all perfectly, sometimes you can get like a, something to pop up on the edge. You need to press everything out as evenly as possible. So you start on like the inside, like the middle, and like work your way out. So that's the reason they're going to pop up those. It's like anytime you have a finger that pop up, it just, the, fil the film is flat and the glass is curved. And you just don't have that fit quite right yet.
was that other question? Oh, is the peel board made of glass? Yeah, these are actually um, out of like some house windows. And then I took, <laughs> I took this crazy iridescent film and I put it on the other side. And then I also put, um, I put a frost on top of that. And I was gonna backlight the whole thing, but then what I found out was uh, it, it ruined the GoPro image, so. We're, we're not doing that anymore. Oh shit, I'm going the wrong way. Wah. There we go. So they are glass. And I don't know, I got lucky because whoever stayed here before was a, was a window company and they left like some, some big house windows, like all those windows right there. And those were the size of the frames they left behind. So I, what happened was I popped them out of the frame, which is another thing I just didn't know how to do until YouTube. So I haven't been able to pop that big one out of the frame though. So if I can do that, I'll have an even bigger one. But I did the small ones. Free glass. All covered, all covered. So like you wanna start in the center and you kind of want to just see how I'm going up and down at an angle. Keep everything even when you press it out. And then if you still have like a finger or two on the edge, like something small isn't anything to be alarming, but if you have like bigger fingers on the inside, you just, you definitely didn't shrink it enough or you didn't press it out evenly. It's really not hard to press it out even, just start in the center, work your way out. Try not to like start on one edge and like force everything down because that's when you'll really make things not so good. But we are getting to the very end, my dudes. And we'll check it over, and we should be pretty much all set. Probably have like a small thing to touch up, usually on like the edges like the top or the bottom edge. Especially with a hatch when you couldn't quite press all the water very past those edges. So we'll just take this. I thought MTX were good. I'm not an audio guy though. I always thought we had them priced higher back in the day. Do you have heat for winter? I do! I have that heater over there. It worked! We used it at the beginning. As far as I can tell though, this place has been really good on insulation. So I have it off right now. Yeah, it's not like the coldest of days today, but like it started out at 40 degrees today. So it was colder.
weed. Good deal. That's that. And then just a little bit of touch ups. Yeah, it's big space, but with big space comes big opportunity, big responsibility. But we have a plan, hopefully. <laughs> but can you see it's so much quieter? It's my quiet space. I haven't had any space like this or like worked in a space like this that the, that is this quiet ever it's just nice there's my little that one little guy right here Set you up looks good thank you we're working on it and then I do silly stuff like that, which I just, I do that more for me than anything. I love shit like that. It's okay. The shop says that they can't guarantee it to cover their own ass because if something happens to those weird defrosters, they can't they they don't want to be held responsible for paying for paying for a whole back window for you. So what most shops are gonna do, if it's not like really old brittle stuff, so like if it's bubbly purple, a lot of times you take a steamer and then you just slowly peel it off. It takes some work, it takes some time. But it'll be okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna warm this up and just put this back down. Excuse me. And it still needs to dry. So chances are it's gonna be okay, but any most shops are gonna tell you that just as as a as a blanket disclaimer. I don't see very many defroster lines peel off with the tint, but it it does happen and there's just like a lot of different types of glass and tint so oh well shit it's a 2005 so I'm guessing it's brittle yeah but it could have been tinted since any time but yeah if it's like if it's older purpley shit like it's had it's, it's tough to say because if a shop tells you they're gonna scrape it, then yeah, your defrosters are fucked. But if they tell you that they can peel it off with a steamer, then chances are your defrosters are gonna be okay. Damn it. We always forget that. So let's take the keys. Ta-da! Hell yeah! Should I grab a steamer and give it a go? Yeah, actually, because that's what they're going to do. Um, and then uh, look up how to remove window film for like a dollar. There's awesome, you can, you can get something called awesome from the dollar store, um, and it works, works really, really well. Um, and then like a glass safe scrub pad. So they sell like blue scotch Bright glass pads that are, that are safe. So there's a lot of things that you can do. Most, most tint shops don't even want to remove your tint. They would rather you do it. Um, but they would rather have you do it the right way instead of like trying cold and rip it off and then bring it to them. <laughs> so most tint shops would actually just rather tint your car than remove the tint that you have on there. But they will do it if you make them. Dang, this is looking pretty snazzy. 
Alrighty, so that's that. We are done. Cool. I'd assume the the year of the film is the age of the film. I, I mean, that'd be the smart thing, but definitely does not mean that for sure. But yeah, even if a film's like five years old, it's like uh... nice man. Let me send a little care pack with LED bulbs for your car to show my gratitude. Oh, interesting. I have LEDs on my car, though. But thank you. You can send them to the studio. Uh, look up the uh, Detroit Tint Studio on, uh, on maps. You can find us. So yeah, we're, we're pretty much done at this point. Um, I can see. Yeah, we're going to end it. OK. Um, yeah, we're we're done. We're done. We're done. Are we? Is he? Yes. Like I know, it's, I'm just debating on on the ending. Look at this camera. <laughs> GoPro's still down here. Got to get used to him. All right. Uh, so yeah, we're pretty much all wrapped up. Um, so I guess that means we will have a stream. I guess on Monday. Maybe on Monday. I'm not 100% sure, but possibly on Monday. Um, I don't really have a set schedule yet, but I'm working on getting stuff in. You guys know, keep the notifications on, that type of thing. Um, I want to give a huge shout out to all the Super Chats before we go. We have to set up D3 for sure. So regardless, we'll have some stuff next week, no doubt. Uh, but a big shout out to Alligator, Tint Pro, uh, Dan Reyna, DZN, DZN, he might be scheduling his car, so that's super cool. Uh, Daniel, uh, 20, dot, dot, da, da, I cannot pronounce, Lindy, 27, D3, TJ, Dan Arena, and Alligator. Thank you guys so much for the super chats. Much appreciated. We're putting stuff into the stream left and right. Um, and then everybody that hung out today, really, really appreciate y'all being here. It's always fun. Always a good time to have you guys hang out. Um, if you guys had a good time and you want more fun, uh, I have a Facebook group. You guys can go hang out in. Um, I'm typing it in chat right now. Enter. Go join. Go join the Facebook group. Um, that's where I can answer some more questions. That's where the community helps out and answers your questions. And then, like somebody said, to sometime on stream that they were going to, uh, they were wondering about a pink squeegee. Um, so we will continue that discussion, I guess, over there. So, but yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, real quick. Real quick. This is the squeegee. Okay, you can use it for tent. I can't you can hear use it. it for I can't hear it because I, and I you haven't know set up the audio, do but PPF this is the squeegee. Either, but I, so I know I that you don't need it too as well. But, oh, you know, for window tint, man, this it? tool is fucking amazing. Sorry. So I've, just give it a try. I just ordered a few more my headphones right here. This. Okay, I just got them. And then, oh, cool. you man, made a video. these motherfuckers are fucking badass. Well, in my opinion, they're good. And actually, Mike Sanchez just did a, a little review on this tool. And then I like it. Handles really good. Okay. Good stuff. Okay, the I edge. will definitely check this See out. See how it is. So, Sorry. that's pretty badass, I man. Just give it a try, brother. Have the sound, right, man? kind of, but good it's on my to computer. And then nice stream, by the way. I only hear what day, people are saying. Um, I will definitely check it out later, though. But thank you. Thank you for posting that in the group. You guys can go check it out in the group too. If you guys are interested in Pink Squeegee, we'll talk about it more. 
and I will see you in the next one. Bye. That's not, that's not it. Thank you.